Hello grade 10 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about geometric series. This is grade 10 lesson for week 5 in the first quarter. Okay, what is geometric series? Geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Now let's begin with finding the sum of a finite geometric sequence. The first formula that you need to remember is S sub n equals n times A sub 1. When are we going to use this one? You will be using this one if R or the common ratio is equal to 1. Where R S sub n is the sum of the first n terms, n is the number of terms, A sub 1 is the first term. Example, find the sum of the first 12 terms of 8, 8, 8, 8. Of course, we have to check the common ratio. So by formula, common ratio is A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. So 8 divided by 8, that is equal to 1. So our common ratio is 1 and our n is equal to 12 since we are asked to find the first 12 terms. Okay, for our solution, we will be using the formula S sub n equals n times A sub 1. By substitution, we have S sub 12 equals n is 12 and our first term is 8. Multiply. 12 times 8, so that is equal to 96. So meaning to say that the sum of the first 12 terms is equal to 96. Next is S sub n equals 0 and S sub n equals the first term. When we are going to use this one, we are going to apply this concept if r is equal to negative 1. S sub n is automatically 0 if n or the number of terms is an even number. And S sub n is equal to the first term if n is an odd number. Example, find the sum of the first 10 terms of 9, negative 9, 9, negative 9, and so on. So, first, we have to check for the common ratio. So, by formula, a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. By substitution, we have negative 9 divided by first term, which is 9. So, negative 9 divided by 9, that is equal to negative 1. So, meaning to say, this is the value of our common ratio, negative 1. Next. Our n is 10, and 10 is an even number. Where did we get 10? We are asked to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So therefore, we have to apply the first concept that S sub n is equal to 0 since R is equal to negative 1 and the value of n is 10, which is even number. So we have the sum of the first 10 terms is equal to 0. No more long solution. Next, find the sum of the first 11 terms of negative 7, 7, negative 7, 7, and so on. So same, so for the common ratio, a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. So we have 7 divided by the first term, negative 7. And that is equal to negative 1. Next, we have to determine the value of the value of n. So our n is 11. 11 is an odd number. When we are talking about odd number, number that is not divisible by 2. So we are going to apply concept that s sub n is just equal to the first term, if r is equal to negative 1 and n is an odd number. So our first term is negative 7. So therefore, the sum of the first 11 terms is equal to negative 7.
Okay, the third formula that you need to remember is S sub N equals A sub 1 times quantity of 1 minus R to the power of N all over 1 minus R. Where our S sub N is equal to the sum of the first N terms, A sub 1 is the first term, R is the common ratio, and N is the number of terms. The question is, when are you going to use this formula? You will be using this formula if R or the common ratio is greater than 1 or less than negative 1. Now let's have the example. Find the sum of the first 8 terms of 3, 6, 12, 24. Okay. For our solution, we have to determine first the given data. Of course, we have to solve for the common ratio. By formula, we have a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. Our a sub 2 is 6 and our a sub 1 is 3. So 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. So our common ratio is 2. Next, let's determine the value of n. n is equal to 8 because we are asked to find the sum of the first 8 terms. And of course, our first term is equal to 3. Now we have to write the formula. Next, substitute. So n is 8, so the sum of the first 8 terms, a sub 1 is 3. Just bring down 1 minus r is 2 to the power of 8. All over, bring down 1 minus 2, the value of the common ratio. Now let's simplify. We have to simplify first terms inside the parentheses. And in this case, we have also term inside the parentheses with exponents. So we have to simplify first 2 to the power of 8. So 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 2 256. How are we going to simplify 2 to the power of 8? It means we have to multiply 2 8 times. So 2 times 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 2. And the answer is 256. That is why in here we have 256. So just bring down 3. Bring down also 1 minus 256. The denominator part, simplify 1 minus 2. The answer is negative 1. Okay, next, we have to copy 3. Then, 1 minus 256. The answer is negative 255. Copy the denominator, which is negative 1. Now let's multiply 3 times negative 255. The answer is negative 765. Copy the denominator, negative 1. Now let's divide negative 765 divided by negative 1. Of course, negative divided by negative is positive. That is why our answer here is 765. So it means that the sum of the first eight terms of 3, 6, 12, 24, and so on is 765. Now let's have another formula, and this is applicable if the absolute value of R is less than 1. That is, R is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. Okay? Again, you will be using this formula if R or the absolute value of R is less than 1, that is, R is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. So the values in between negative 1 and 1. So that is actually sum to infinity. And the formula is sum to infinity is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r. 
where our s sub to infinity means the sum to infinity and a sub 1 is the first term r is the common ratio again you will be using this if the absolute value of r is less than 1 example find the sum to infinity of 1 half 1 fourth 1 8 1 16 and so on first determine the value of the common ratio so by formula that is a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 or a sub 2 is 1 fourth divided by first term which is 1 half so 1 fourth divided by 1 half that is equal to 1 fourth times 2 why we have this so just copy 1 fourth and 1 half get the reciprocal the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 change the operation from division to multiplication and multiply 4 can be factored out as 2 and 2 then we have 2 divided common factor so 2 divided by 2 okay we have 1 next multiply 1 times 1 we have 1 here in the numerator and the denominator part 2 times 1 we have 2 that is why our common ratio is 1 half the question is is the value of r or the absolute value of r less than 1 yes 1 half in between the value of 1 and negative 1 so this is sum to infinity and the value of the first term is 1 half so we will be using the sum to infinity formula sum to infinity is equal to the first term over 1 minus r so substitute first term is 1 half over 1 just copy 1 minus the common ratio 1 half simplify copy the 1 half in the numerator then simplify 1 minus 1 half of course 1 minus 1 half is equal to 1 half divide 1 half divided by 1 half that is equal to 1 half copy the numerator part get the reciprocal of the denominator 1 half and the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 multiply so 1 half times 2 we can divide a common factor so that is already 1 so 1 times 1 so we have sum to infinity that is equal to 1 okay hopefully you learned something for today's video thank you so much for watching guys kindly like or comment if you have questions regarding the video kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson and please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications by the way i want to say thank you to all my subscribers before i end let me share to you one of the verses from the bible be strong and courageous do not be terrified do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. That's all for today and God bless you all.